start that one over. Today, you could, I can do that all day, just riff on that. So today I have the VFE Pale Horse. This is one of my favorite overdrives of all time. Um, so I got this board from Mad Bean Pedals, and it was, uh, you know, he has a licensing thing with uh, VFE, and it's one of the easiest VFEs out there to build. Yeah, one of the easiest. There's not a million components. It's not a really tight fit. It is a tight fit in terms of building in a 1590B, so you have to be crazy accurate with your drilling. Um, so what I'll have up here is a shot of the inside. So there's two boards, which I've talked about this in my other VFE uh, videos, is there's the power and, and, and uh, switching board, and then there's the audio board. So for this one, there's two trimmers on it. There is an impedance trimmer, and then there is another trimmer that interacts with this tone control. Now, what that does is when it's set stock, which it is on this one, it um, this tone control is a booster cut at around 3.2 kilohertz. So I have it just cut a little bit here, and I and I kind of really seem to like it. Now, of course, it's a VFE, so there's a million you know different settings and different things we could get out of this. I'm going to show you some of my some ones that I really enjoy. Um, so today it's Stratocaster straight into the VFE, into an uh, Allen Amps Accomplice. So, let's talk about the controls real quick. Um, we got a standard level, pretty common. Drive, your tone control, which I talked about. Now we have a post-gain high cut, which is awesome, and a pre-gain bass cut. And then your compression circuit. So the high cut post-gain and the low cut pre-gain is a common thing in most overdrives. Uh, the Rat does it, the I think the Timmy does it, Tube Screamer, most of them do, OCD. All it is is what you, it's cutting off low end before it hits the gain stage, otherwise it kind of farts out and gets wonky, and then coming out of the gain stage it cuts off some high end so it's not super shrill. Now your compression circuit here, this is set uh, when it's all the way clockwise is a MOSFET style compression, and then it goes, if it were this way, it's asymmetrical clipping. So, and that's all that's doing. It's just a way to say it's clipping fun. Fun clipping options on it. Most overdrives do that also. So, uh, oh yeah. This is on a 1590B uh, blank enclosure. And then I airbrushed it this um, sparkle yellow. And of course, I painted a Ludwig Koopa on there. It was part of my Koopa links that I did. So... Let's go uh, do some clean sounds here. Pretty clean, super clean. So, here's this, the sound that I had in that little intro thing. And 
the drive's actually kind of way up. So what we can, can do is turn that drive down. And like most VFEs, there is a lot of level on, on tap. That's pretty cool, even low gain. That, see, for me, I love stuff like that where I can. All I'm doing is getting the core sound that I already have that I love clean like that and just making it a little bit louder. Maybe adding a little bit of gain to it. in there though it definitely had some mids so we'll uh, turn this compression knob over so you can hear that I said I like it more in the moss fets or it's in the middle both of them are out That. So let's tr let's crank up the game because I want to show you the guys. There's a ton. Enough, plenty of drive for me. So we'll leave that around 12. Okay, so your low end, I'll turn those off. So that's letting everything through, and then what we can do is start cutting out. I'm sorry, this is full cut on the high. Okay. These are fully cut this way, I'm sorry. Now if we start letting in all the high end in, I'm gonna apologize, it's gonna get real shrill here. So, I like the high end, but not that much. Now the low end, um, we'll dial some of that in. If you go all the way up with the low end, it's gonna drive the circuit more. but it does get a lot more low in there, so. I kind of like it like that. It makes it very mid-focused. It makes it, you know, where the guitar is supposed to sit. All right, so we'll do this tone control and then get the heck out of here, huh? saw what I just did there. So I crank this tone up and it gets real brittle, but if you dial back the high note, so it's almost like if we went like this, shifting where that midpoint is a little bit and yeah just there's so much you could do with this thing i mean really these vfes pack so much in here and they're just sound great so yeah i hope i covered as much as i could on it like i said there this one's one of the easier builds it's not like a klein bottle or anything it's it's fairly reasonable um so definitely go check it out
Uh, go get your board from madbeanpedals.com. Thanks for checking it out.